Hmm. Good night, girls. How are you doing today? Pretty good? Good night, teacher. Good night. Hey. Good night, Sylvia. Nice good to night. meet you. Nice to meet you, Kalina. How are you? I'm fine. Yay, what had happened to you? It's the first time, right? It, yes, it's my first time. It, it's because I can, uh, this schedule is, is very difficult for me. Mm -hmm. uh, and, but I'm, I'm really happy uh, that you recording the, the, the class. Oh, yeah. Because today, I, I, today I saw the recording uh, on Monday and Tuesday. Uh -huh. and, and uh, I, I feel nervous and <laughs> why <laughs> I don't buy right Mario <laughs> oh, I saw everybody speak English very well and I and I and I'm afraid because my English is so bad don't worry and of course not I well as far as I can hear now it's good <laughs> that's why we are here you. Don't worry well, about it. Yes. Everybody, yeah, we'll, we're a family, right, Mary? We're a team. So basically, we'll help each other, okay? So don't worry. If you don't suffer, okay. you forgot a word, uh, somebody will say, hey, you said it like this way, okay? I don't know. So we help each other, okay? Don't worry about that. Okay. Yeah, Thank we you. have a really good team. No, I'm so happy that we can finally meet. It's a pleasure. Yeah, you know what? The first date. My pleasure. I My was pleasure. really afraid because, to be honest with you, I was the only girl and only boys, and I was like, I know, I hear you. Oh I my hear you. goodness! And I said, I am, I'm the only one, the only one. <laughs> yeah, I was like, no way, that's not possible. But now, then another girl appears, and another one, and Irina appears, and I was like, yeah, <laughs> that was yes. not. And also yes. Carito, right, Car Carito? Yeah. Yes. So, so now we are like more girls than boys because we only have two. We have Mr. Mario and Lenny. <laughs> and we have Irina, Carolina, and Kalina. Very good. I like it. Oh, that's that was a rhythm. Irina, Carolina, and Kalina. That's amazing. I like and it. And Ernestina too, teacher. Where is it? I don't hey, know. I don't know. Uh, no. She's well, not connected right uh, now. She's not connected yet. Finally, Mr. Hernandez, I meet you. <laughs> nice to meet you, sir. It's been a pleasure. Oh, wow, finally. You know what? The first day, Kalina, I was asking Stanley because Stanley is the other uh, young guy. I thought he was the youngest one, but no, guess no. what? Mr. Hernandez was, it is the youngest on the group. Yeah. 19, I hear. It. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> but I didn't get it because, of course, at the first time, he didn't show his appearance, right? And I didn't know he was an old man or a young man. But now that I see him, Yes, definitely. He looks like 19. Oh, remember those days? That no, we'll never I'm come old. back. Yeah. <laughs> I am old. I'm old. <laughs> uh, you're, you're not. If you're old, I almost like two, two walk or three walks from death, you know? <laughs> Goodness. Boy, I feel like um, I'm, I'm 40. Oh, <laughs> I have a lot of age. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, don't offend because I almost worry. So come on. <laughs> you know what? Yeah, imagine, imagine, Canila, imagine, Mario, how Mr. Hernandez looked to us, right? He's like, oh my God, do, that lady, that old lady. The old lady. Yeah. <laughs> you know, old. Yeah. And, yeah, you know what? And uh, I remember that. Um, when I was when I, I was about to get married, I was 24, my husband was 33, and I was afraid because like, oh my God, and we're going to have the same likes about, uh, regarding the music, meals, and everything to that man, to that old man. And now he said, you almost 40, yeah. Do you feel older? No, not mm. at all. But imagine how the jungle people look at you. They look like if you're already older. Yeah, because I, I remember that when, when I was uh, like Hernandez age, I said, uh, Miss, 
come in, miss, come here. And then I will open the door and everything. But now when I go to the bank, when I go to the supermarket, everybody says, missies. And I was like, okay. <laughs> oh, well, I got to set the reality, right? There's nothing else that we can do. Yeah. We cannot go back to time. Yeah. But you know what? Yes. Even though Mr. Hernandez, I almost 40, I do not feel like a 40 girl. I, I, I still have like a teenager spirit. If I can say that. <laughs> I think also Kalina and Mario. Yeah, you know? Mm -hmm. Yes, I'm Sometimes Mary. Sometimes I, I think we have more energy than young people. What do you think, guys? Yes, of course. I just yeah. came from the basketball court. You see? And he's in front of the English uh, class. So he has a lot of energy. <laughs> yeah, right? I think it's because we like ate uh, healthy, healthier, right? Than these guys, right? What a different like lifestyle nowadays. Well, Hernanda, you can say it. Nowadays, the life is like running, 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 oh. running. You don't have time to, to like, to what? To have a rest most of the time, but also to eat healthier, right? And the environment that you grew up is different. Yeah, yes, can imagine that. But don't worry. I don't feel like 40 because 40 is still young, you know? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Younger than me, at least. Longer than you? No, but I'm not 40. I'm almost. But I'm still, <laughs> I'm still in my 30s, you know? I'm still in my 30s. I yeah. know, I know, I know. That's what that's what I said. Younger than me. I, you I are younger than me. <laughs> Yeah, so you gotta wait until next year. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Yeah, I'm, but I'm so happy. But I'm close. I'm close. I have a sister who lives in Costa Rica that she already has a 40 years old. But she, you know what? She looks younger than me. Yes, yeah, my sister. Oh, she, she, she looks younger than me and she's older than me. Yeah, I think the way she is, the way she dresses, I think so. <laughs> Very good. Hey, we have a lot of people here. We do have also Paquito. Welcome to class. Hey, Carito. We also have good Mr. Evening. Alex Cornejo. Good evening, sir. We have uh, Lenny. Okay, we have a oh, Lenny. How are you, Lenny? There you go. Very good. I am so tired. Oh, I can't imagine. That's why you don't show the camera, right? Yeah, I am messed. You're a disaster. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> completely disaster. <laughs> Don't worry, that's fine. But at least yeah. you're in here in class, so that's okay for me. Okay. Cool. Hey, Daniela, and we have Gustavo Rosales. Very good. Excellent. Okay, guys. Hey, Hernanda, you remember one uh, friend of mine, you know what? His name is Javier. And yeah, that is the name of my friend. And I think he's like your age or a little bit older, I think so. But your face, your appearance, it looks exactly like him. Yeah, really? you remind me. Yeah, you remind me him. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and, he, and he's a really good friend of mine. So, oh, yeah. You know oh, yeah. what? Even though I'm almost 40, but I also have friends younger oh. than me, you know? <laughs> Maybe maybe he's your friend and he's stalking you. I don't know. <laughs> ah, you're you're mean, Mario. <laughs> All righty, guys. Thank you so much. Okay, well, I think the rest will come right a little bit late, but that's okay. We have a, right now a plenty of group. So first of all, a uh, do you remember that we need to practice the simple pass every single day, right? Yeah. So, yep. okay, Danny, now that you, <laughs> that you open your microphone, like, <laughs> all right, yeah, Danny, could you please be so kind to talk about your day today? How was your day going? Uh, it was a busy day, mm -hmm. but it's okay. I have a lot of homework to do. <laughs> Ooh, really? What time do you but, wake up? I know, I wake up. Uh, you woke up? I woke up at uh, nine o'clock. So it's 9 a.m. <laughs> yeah. Goodness. What? Really? Oof. That's nice. But I, Lucky. But I, yeah. I love, I love, I love, I love, I love uh, my class. <laughs> you lost two your class. classes? Yeah, two classes? Two classes. Uh, at the university one? Yes, but uh, 
because I have a lot of homework yesterday and and today and I think that I was uh, like tired. <laughs> yeah, yeah, like definitely. You were mentally tired, and right? I, yeah. Yes, yes. And I feel that that my breath was uh, tired. <laughs> your bed or your or your brain. But I did all my homework. Ah, okay. <laughs> well, and you're brain, here, sorry. and yeah. you're here, so that's great. <laughs> but at least you have time for your <laughs> lunch, right? And your dinner <laughs> and, and your breakfast. Okay, okay, okay. And you did your homework. Excellent job. That's my girl. Yes, Excellent. Yes. We're going to hear about it in a couple of minutes. Okay, very good. Thank you, Danny. Okay, let me listen to another beautiful lady. Carito, how was your day, baby girl? Hi, good evening. Good evening. Today, my day was kind of busy. But really? You boring. didn't wake up at night, right? No. I ah, okay. <laughs> at 5.30. 5.30 a.m. Wow. Yeah. Elder than me. Yeah. Woohoo. Yeah. That was easy. But it was very nice, and like I said, it was kind of boring and kind of busy, mm -hmm. but here we are. Yeah, here we are. Yeah, definitely. Oh, well, kind of boring and kind of busy. Oof. <laughs> but you stay home, or you have to, like, travel somebody somewhere else? No, no, no. I'm in home. Oh, okay, okay, okay. You work at home? Yeah. And you study as well, or just working? No, I just work. I just work, okay. But I, of course, work from home. Oof, sitting in the whole day. I know it's complicated. But I'm so yes. happy to see you. That's amazing that you're here. Thank you, Carito. Thank you too. And Wills, Marito, what about you? Listen to you. Me? Yes, of course. <laughs> There's not only one Mario here. Yeah, yeah. I'm okay. The truth is that I woke up earlier. At what today. time? Yeah, uh, at 6 a.m. Okay, Today, uh, I took a shower, then I prepared my classes. I have classes between um, 7.50 and 1 p.m. Okay. And after that, I took... Uh, <laughs> I, well, I, I went to bed for one hour. You went to, to bed for one hour, I, so I, you I didn't have your I, lunch or what? Yeah, I had my lunch ah, okay. really, really fast, and then I I took a break, a little a, break. A little break uh -huh. of one hour, right? And now... <laughs> just enough. Uh -huh. enough. <laughs> After that, I, I marked papers because I had a lot of things to check, hmm. uh, reading, reading math projects, mm -hmm. and then I went to, to play basketball. Of course, with your kids. Yes, my daughter is training and my son too. Oh, that's amazing. And then you took a shower. I hope so. <laughs> oh, of course. Oh, of course. course. Okay. Thanks, God, that we of are like, <laughs> like via internet, right? <laughs> that, gave me, that gave me only three minutes to finish the homework. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I, it's done. But it's done. But, but it's done. done. Okay. That's cool. Uh, well, uh, you see, you are really fast. And then you're here. That's good. Thank you, Marito. And let me listen to Mr. Sergio David Rodriguez Lovato. Hello, sir. Hi, Sergio. Welcome to class. Hello. Hello. Good to see you to all of you again. Yeah. How was your day, Sergio? I'm really happy to be with you. Me too. Uh, my day was really good. It was really good. So I do the, the shorts here at home. Happy my granny, my grandpa, happy my aunt, and do some other kind of stuff. Ooh, <laughs> helping them like a, a house chores or, or something else? Uh, only the chores and oh. cooking. And them. cooking. Oh my God, did you cook today? Uh, ooh. Uh, I, don't, I, don't, I don't feel like a good uh, chef, but I try to do my best. Really? And, and, and can you please be so kind to let us know what was exactly the recipe you did today? Uh, today, do some soup bean. Bean soup? Really? Yeah. The red ones or the white ones? Yeah. The red one. The red one. Hey, did you try to put some Morocco or no? Uh, no, not really. Hey, you should try it, Sergio. It's really good. 
I will try. Yeah, the next time, try to let me know how was it, okay? And then you're here. Yeah, okay. that's amazing. Very good. Okay. So you're a Thanks. chef. Kind of. <laughs> kind of. I to do my best. <laughs> that's nice. That's really nice. Thank you so much for sharing your day. And the last one, Irina, Thank how you. was your day? Thank you, Sergio. Well, it's uh, it was kind of tired, teacher. Oh, also okay. That's why yes. you don't want to show the camera because you're a complete disaster. I'm just kidding. Yes. <laughs> I'm like Lenny, right? Lenny said, "No, complete disaster, teacher." Yeah, uh, we have a lot of. I have a lot of work um, at my office today, and wow. the traffic was more there, and mm, yes. it was uh, the weather was hot. Yes, and now it's hot and. Oof. Um, I was hungry when I and I go home mm -hmm. and I eat something and I'm, I'm gonna stay here. You you were you were hungry and now you ate something. You ate something. Yes. Okay. Cool. Yes, Very see. well. But at least you're here, so that's cool. I'm so happy that even though you're tired, you are busy today. But I'm really happy, guys, because it shows your commitment, right? You're willing to learn, and uh, I'm every time, every night that I see you, like I'm like. Those are my boys. Those are my girls. Yeah. And so you are my baby boys and my baby Thank girls. You. Yeah. So I'm so happy. And your mama. <laughs> yeah. No, because I'm the oldest of the group. No, I but guess. I mean, you're, I, I'm uh, your English mama. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Exactly. No, I, yeah. I'm not talking about in general, right? Of course. Okay. Oh, no, you are not the oldest one. Come on. <laughs> yes. And the youngest one is Mr. Hernandez. Yes. yes. Hey guys, do you remember that yesterday we were talking about the relative pronouns as a subjects and we made like a little uh, explanation about the grammar thing and I asked you guys to like make like a little paragraph with the information that we did yesterday plus the extra adjectives that we learned, the positive and the negative ones. Do you remember that? Yeah? Yes. I hopefully as a really good student that you are, because I know. <laughs> hey, you have done your homework. Okay, who want who wants to start first? Thank you so much for participating. You're the best. Go ahead, Paquito. What? <laughs> okay. <laughs> like what? <laughs> All right. <laughs> hey Paquito, let's listen to you. Surprise me. Hey guys, and do me a All favor. Right. Every time that you listen your uh your classmate uh, describing the uh, his or her best friend try to concentrate and try to identify if they if you have um, qualities or adjectives in common okay and then we're going to discuss about it okay very good go ahead Paquito okay well I made a small photograph about describing my best friend okay which is in my opinion my dad oh really friend. Wow. Yeah, he is such a uh, easygoing and sociable person. Uh, besides, he is so supportive uh, person to me. Mm -hmm. He took uh, incomparable care for me and my sister when we were kids. And I think for me, he is the most reliable person I have known. So. I can't tell you my dad is great. Oh, I'm, yeah, I'm so happy. That was a really beautiful uh, description, Paquito. You show that you really love oh. you. A hundred percent, right? Thank and you you're, very much. I, and I, you're lucky that you I'm still so, have it. Yes, I'm so proud about him. Yeah. Definitely. Oh, that was a beautiful yeah. description. Oh, thank you very much. Hopefully we can meet him someday, right? That, that could be. <laughs> Oh, sure. How uh, old is first, him, by the way? You're welcome. How old is him? Well, he's 58. 58? He's, he's young. 58. He's really young. Oh, yes. He's still young. My mom, yeah, my mom is older than him. Uh, he, my mom is around her 64. Oh, but they're still young. Oh, Paquito, yeah, how old are you? I'm sorry to ask you, but how old are you, Paquito? Uh, uh, I don't mind. That's okay. I'm, I'm 40. 40? So th that means your mama had you when she was like eight years old? Uh, I 
something like that, right, guys? You still have uh, like 24 yeah, or 20 something. Oh, yeah, I know, yes, because the mama is 60 something, right? Ah, yes, yes, exactly. Even I have an, an oldest uh, sister, she is 45 ah. already. Oh. Mm -hmm. So my mom was like 30 when she uh, when she became became a mother. R wow, yeah. pretty young. 13, 15, yeah, yeah. Yeah, maybe. but that was no, common no, in, no. in the in the past no, day. That was common. No, she was no, she was 17. Yeah. Yeah, but still, she was young. Yeah. Yeah, I still she was young. Yeah. No, but that's nice. That's I'm so that's you're yeah, lucky I, to have your parents alive. I I'm lucky and I am so happy to have both of them. Yeah. Uh, hey. I, uh, unfortunately, my uh, my mother is a little bit sick of her, her kidneys. Yeah. Oh. That's what happens yeah, right so, now. But it's okay. Older. But, it, but it's still she's good. I'm so yeah, happy. She's Thank doing you. Okay so far. Thank you, Paquito, Thank for you. your for your description. Okay, let's listen. To, <laughs> let's listen to another volunteer. Thank you, Hernandez. Go ahead. Me? Yes, of course. You. I didn't know that. <laughs> you were here in the class. So don't tell me that I didn't know. Yes, that I didn't. Yes, because... you were here. But it was a little a little time because I I was in the bus in the bus sorry in the bus ah okay don't the worry bus. invent uh, <laughs> yeah yeah uh, uh, let's talk about your best friend you can say a best my best friend is a person who and then you continue actually I don't have a best friend because I just excuse no, come on yeah no no because he passed away two years ago. Oh, but well, by talking like a why you consider that person your best friend, even though that person is not alive anymore. With you see, because with the teacher, there's no excuses. <laughs> okay, <laughs> because he was my classmate, mm -hmm. we grown together. Oh, since we like, since we were like five years ago, five years, oh. sorry. Okay. And, we used to share a lot of things. For example, even the even the food that we that we eat. Really, in we the ate, same sorry. plate? Yeah, it's the same. But importantly, he he had an accident, so it was away. Wow. He was, he was a little bit. He was. I mean, he was annoying because a little bit annoying because he. He couldn't be quiet. <laughs> really? So he, yeah. hey, what's how you say that, guys? Do you remember that? You, you see, you say, uh, Hernandez, that this is a person that he wants to talk a lot or speak a lot. Talkative. 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 Exactly. Talkative. Very good. Talkative. Yeah. yeah. I mean, he was the, the, the clown of the class in a school. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah, he was so funny. But you know what? You are also an energetic girl. man, but he was more than you. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. That's amazing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, uh, that. Okay, that's cool. Thank you so much for sharing. You know, I know that sometimes will be like a little bit painful, right? Because of uh, course you love him, but I'm really, I'm really happy that you shared a, a little piece of information for us. Thank you, Hernandez. Thank you so much. Don't cry, okay? <laughs> oh, okay, Marito, you were like, me, me, me. Okay, so go ahead. <laughs> okay, um, well, I want to, um, good, good evening, everyone. Good evening. Uh, today, I'm going to describe and tell you a little bit about my best friend mm -hmm. who, who I met when I was his math teacher in 1997. Ooh, that uh, was a long time ago, my friend. Yes. He was in, 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 in sixth grade at that time, eh? mm -hmm. uh, and I was finishing the university. Ooh. When I met him, he was my girlfriend brother mm -hmm. at that time. My girlfriend's uh -huh. brother, okay. Girlfriend's brother, yes. Uh, he's a, a very smart and expressive person. Today, uh, 
he, he is a lawyer and he has his own import and export business. Um, I think his abilities of being sociable, supportive, and easygoing help him in these areas and making friends. Great. Um, he is also married with a very good friend of mine. Uh, ha he has two beautiful daughters, age five and one year. Oh my God, they're still young, right? Kid, little. He, he, yeah, he's, a, uh, I, I'm not sure about his age, but I think he's uh, 30, 35 years old. Oh yeah, so he's still young. He's on mm -hmm. the 30s as, as me. <laughs> and that's all. That, no, 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 no. How you, what did you, what you said when you finish? That's it. Exactly. That, <laughs> that's what I need. That's it. Yeah. Because you said that's all folks. That is like Bugs Bunny. No, wait. <laughs> very good thank you marita thank you so much hey guys you're listening right if you have the descriptions in common right Got characteristics in common okay let me double check who else mm -mm 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 -mm. carito what about you carito okay let's let listen to you baby girl mm -hmm. okay for me my best friend is a very special person because I really like people who are reliable, social, and easygoing. Okay. And I can find that in my best friend. Oh. She's someone who gives me all her support every time I need it. And that's why I love her and consider her my best friend. Oh, my God. Oh, you're going to break my heart. <laughs> yeah, those are pretty uh, lovely uh, description. Yeah. You see, I have noticed, guys, that you have uh, adjectives in common. So you see how you notice that right now? Yeah. All right. Very good. Thank you so much, Carito. Hey, Canila, would you want to share something with us? Would you like to share something? Yeah, of course. Go ahead. Kalena. Kalina. Kalina. Kal okay. Kalina. Yeah, that is in okay. English. Kalena is in Spanish, right? Yes. Okay. My, oh, uh, my name is Carmen Elena. Oh. And my nickname is Kalena. Also, oh, so. how would you like us to, to call you? Kalina, Kalena? I prefer or... Kalena. Canela? I prefer Kalena. Kalena. Kalena, <laughs> no Canela. Canela is like the Xenom, all right? All right. It's like, yes. <laughs> yeah. So it's Kalena. Kalena. For me, it's yes. Kalina. Oh. Yeah. Okay. I, it will be really <laughs> but, hard for me to get used to it. But uh, you said Ka Kalena or Kalina, okay? Kalena. Kalena. Okay, Kalena. I didn't know if you if you are talking about me. I, I, and, I, and I said, but what? I think she's if you say some... Kalina, I, I will It's because it, it's, it's, it's the way that I, uh, when I read it, is the way that I, that my my mind my comes up because, of course, my mind is in English all I'll the time. Okay. Yeah, okay. so, but if you said that it's Kalena in Spanish, I will try to do it, okay? Okay. It's okay. okay. It's, it's okay. Kalena. Thank Go you. Ahead. Thank you. Okay, I, I didn't know about the, the homework because the, the video ends when you make uh, rooms. Exactly, and yeah. So so I didn't know yeah, nothing I know more. That. Yeah, that had happened yesterday. That, that happens, that, that, yeah, I don't so, know. It's like a, something, some trouble with the Zoom, but that's okay. Okay, uh, I'm talking about my, my best friend. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, my best friend is really the best friend of the, um, the world, in the mm -hmm. world. Her name is Liliane, and, and she, she has always been uh, with me, really, in the good times and bad times, mm -hmm. um, and she has a good sense of humor, and the best thing uh, about her is that she is very positive, mm -hmm. and always uh, give us a positive uh, things, uh, the way that we have to see the life and, okay. and see the problems. And uh, that's why she's my best friend. Wow. <laughs> that's really nice also. Very good. Yeah, okay. we like, yeah, of course, right? We like, we need to like get close to people like that, right? Positive people. Yeah, to have like a calibration, right? Because sometimes we are so negative, right? And yeah, we, we just see the things in just one point of view. But we have somebody else like help us see the things in another way. That's really nice. Yeah, very good. And so happy. Thanks. Very. That's lovely description as well. 
Hey, oh. Thank you so much, Kalena. Kalena. <laughs> Kalena. Yeah, I made it. Yeah. Very good. What about you, Mr. Kevin Ramirez? Kevin. Hello, Kevin. Hi, Mr. Kevin. I think we have a problem. Houston, we don't have a problem here, right? Yes, Kevin is, is something wrong right now. Don't worry. Uh, Mr. Portillo. Did you do your homework? Mr. Lenny Portillo, I think he's taking a relaxed time right now. No, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm just teasing you, Mr. Portillo. All righty. Did you do your homework, sir? Uh, really, I do it, but... You did it. Uh, it is something sad to me because <laughs> I in my friends and I have to say that I don't have a best friend. Oh, you don't have a best friend? No. 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 But you can talk about uh, hypothetically about someone that you, some adjectives that will make you feel that that person is a person. I do, I do my homework about uh, a best friend from the past. Oh, there will be guys. Go ahead, go ahead. Because I don't have in the present, but I have it in the past. Oh, that's wonderful. So let's listen okay. to you. Um, um, well, uh, he was reliable. Reliable, okay. Reliable. Mm -hmm. uh, I could talk about everything with him, mm -hmm. and he understood me. He was also the other student too, and he helped me when I cannot, when I don't understand the class, when I understand the homework. Mm -hmm. he helped me very, very time. Uh, he was also honest too. He said me uh, the truth directly, and I like that because I don't like when I ask, uh, "Hey, how are you looking?" Uh, mm -hmm. with, uh, with his clothes. Yes. If someone say, ah, oh, it's good, very good. It's good. <laughs> no, no. Please be directly. Mm. <laughs> so yeah. He was like this. Uh, he also had a good sense of humor too because he was directly bad. He knows to how to uh, be a, a good friend when mm -hmm. uh, we uh, as uh, afternoons, uh, louding, uh, joking, <laughs> in, and ours uh, was uh, long with him. So uh, the true, uh, I was thinking that I miss have a, a, a good friend. Definitely. And then uh, what, those are really good uh, description, Mr. Portillo. I like it. Yeah, okay. you really love that uh, that company, right? That partner. Yeah, yeah. Ah, oh, that's so nice. Thank you so much, Mr. Portillo. And don't feel okay. bad, okay? Don't feel bad. <laughs> uh, I, I, I don't turn on my camera. No, that's because... okay. <laughs> because, you, because you said that you are the, the disaster, you said, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Thank you so much. You broke my heart. Hey, hey, Mr. Luis René. Are you able to hey. talk today? Yes, I'm able to talk and I'm listening to the, the stories and the homework of my, of my classmates. Of your classmates. I haven't asked you directly yes. because I didn't know that you were driving or something like that. But if you're able to talk, let's listen to you. All right. Uh, I consider I, I, I don't have such uh, a best friend. I have many friends, but I I can't choose. I can choose. <laughs> I cannot choose the best one. I have many good friends. Mm. And so talking I about enjoy... in general. Yes, uh, and I think that uh, maybe uh, the the best friend of a person is uh, themselves. Mm -hmm. my, my, I am my, my best friend because I'm the only person. Uh, with whom I, I can count, no, on, how, how can I say, the person on, 
on whom you can trust. I'm the only person who I can trust best in the, the most difficult situations. Mm -hmm. And that's why I think uh, I'm the person that can always take care of myself. Okay. So you consider that each person is their own best friend. Is yes. that right? But let, but, but, yes, but let me ask you something. But, uh, mm -hmm. Yes, uh, as I told you, uh, all everything is good. And I, there's no need to, to make like a... Uh, a list of who, who is better friend than, than the other. Mm -hmm. Because you said that eh, all of your friends have something special, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. And that makes them unique. Yeah, exactly. So do, do me a favor. Talk about your friends in general, not about your best friends, because all your friends have something special. So you would like to hang out uh, with somebody who, and can you give me the the general uh, information about your friends? How are they in general? Yes. Or, or uh, what the characteristics that they have in common? Well, uh, most of my friends uh, li listen to heavy metal. So they, my friends, I have many. So you like, you have friends who loves music. Okay, what else? Many friends who are musicians. Who musicians, play. okay. Uh, most, uh, I, 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 have, I have other friends. Well, if I can call them so, uh, they are um, better to say my my tandems, my language tandems. Uh, okay. So people from Russia. Oh, okay. Got it. From uh, from Germany. Mm -hmm. And they are very very kind people okay. and they have different different ways to see the life okay and because yeah that's uh, the special the, the the special thing about uh, learning a new language is that you you can you can meet uh, new people and the other perspective okay so you have a per, uh, uh friends who loves music who are physicians, uh, who had a different perspectives in their lives, and also who are willing for you to help you practice the languages that you learn. Is that right? Or that you're learning? Yes. Okay. Learning. Very good. Excellent. Good job. Thank you so much, Rene. Uh, let me listen one more. What about you, Alex? What can you share with us? <laughs> you will never escape. <laughs> oh, hello. Sorry. Hello, sir. Hello everyone. Uh, I, I just made a, a small paragraph. I just finished made your small paragraph. I'm oh, just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I have a, a, a good friend, a nice friend. Okay. He's uh, one of my, my best friends. Mm -hmm. He's uh, someone who uh, that is an uh, easygoing guy, um, uh, sociable and talkative. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He, likes, he, likes, he loves to talk a lot. No. And, uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, he also ha have a, has a friends, mm -hmm. more friends. But I think he, we do we have like a special uh, our friends friendship friendship is special. Oh, yeah. that's nice. How uh, long have you been friends? For about uh, seven years. Oof, that's good. About seven years. Yeah, but um, he's a very uh, like a supportive. Supportive, okay. He, he, he give me gives me a lot a lot of support. Yeah, um, I think it's reciprocal, which is because I, I'm helping him when he has some problem, okay. and you also. Uh, so you help, help each me, other. Uh, yeah. Okay. Each other. Um. One. I uh, love when he invites me to, to eat the dinner so, with my family. Or so with of my course, family. of course, and, not you family. alone, right? Not just yeah. guys' moment. Uh -huh. Yeah, no, it's <laughs> in, in his family. Okay, family. Oh, 
so you and share between also, family. That's good. Yeah. Also, we, I invite him. Will you cook? Nice to, to share. Yes, you know when when I made a special plates. You know, really, a special dish. Yeah. Oh, uh, and let me ask you: Does he have? Uh, does he has? No, does he have the same? Um, I don't know quality as you that he can also loves to cook or no. He's a good chef. No, he is. He's not. He's a difference. No, 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 no. no, no, no. Nothing compared to you. That's a totally different, different game. Okay. Uh, no, no, no. <laughs> no, man. He's uh, in a different area. In a different way. Oh, okay. In a different area. Okay. So he has his yeah, own yeah. specialty, if we can say it. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So that's why it's very. Um, um. I think uh, our friendship is very nice. You know? Oh, that's amazing. Yeah. yeah. Oh. And. That, that's it, right? That's it. That's it. Okay, very good. That's Excellent. It. Okay, I'm missing somebody. I think I'm missing Gustavo, Ernestina, and Sergio. Okay, Gustavi, Sergio, what about you? Okay, I'm talking about my best friend. My best friend is a person who I really trust him, mm -hmm. and he always given uh, some. Uh, pieces of advice when I need it. Mm -hmm. By the way, uh, he's very uh, comprehensive mm -hmm. and sociable. Sociable. He's, mm -hmm. he's not. He's not talkative. He's very quiet. Really, he's the opposite he's very, of you, man. <laughs> yeah, really? he's very serious. Yeah, yeah. He's very serious. But <clears throat> when I visit him. I have a good time with him. Hey. I watch him some movies. I talk about my issues of mm -hmm. my daily life, and he talking about. And also, he responds for the same way. He's mm -hmm. talking about his daily life and yeah. those kind of stuff. And when I need uh, something, if he had the opportunity to help me, he helped me. Oh, he that's me amazing. So he's yeah. like he's like open handed, right? Open handed. Yeah. When somebody's willing to help you, it's an open handed. Okay, that's good to know. Yeah. That's kind of expression. It's yeah. open handed. Open handed. That means like <laughs> he's willing to help you, and it's possible to, for him to do it. Very good. That's nice. Thank you so much, uh, Sergio. That was a pretty lovely de a description. Miss Ernestina Regis, what about you, my uh, <laughs> my sweet lady? How are you? Pretty good. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. I talk about some of my best friends. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, my best friend had uh, died the last year, Ooh. and he was my husband. Oh, so I am widow, but I talk about my my husband or my best friend. Of course. Tonight. Okay. Thank you. And okay, <laughs> he always um, always always did bring me flowers and Valentine's Day. Always brought and you flowers and Valentine's Day. Yes, wow. Yes, okay. Yes, yes, yes. He uh, he um, played the basketball mm -hmm. with all. Also I like Marito. Have, um, <laughs> okay, and um, she, he uh, he was a very soci sociable, sociable, <laughs> sociable. Thank you, and um, very a uh, good a good person. Only oh, thank you, okay. thank you so much for sharing. I know that sometimes could be a little bit tough, but yeah. I'm I'm really really happy that you share uh, okay. uh, that for, from us. Uh, it's really nice. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, I know. Yeah, my best friend is also my husband, so I understand that. <laughs> Very <laughs> Thank good. You. Thank you. Thank you, Ernestina. Who else is missing? Daniela, right? No, Dan oh, no, Daniela already said that. Kiki. Yes, Kikin, how are you? Kike, Kike, Kike. Hi, hello. How are you? <laughs> Hello, teacher. Hello. Did you do your homework? No, Ash, I can't. You couldn't. Really? Hey, but can you talk about uh, your best friend in general? 
Uh, well. Yeah, do your best. I have, uh, I have many friends. Yeah. Uh, uh, uh. Okay, so you know what? You can do something like Luis, for example. Uh, you can talk about uh, their descriptions in general. Why they uh -huh. are your friends. I think they should have something in common, right? So maybe you can just start saying, I love to hang out with person who are, and then you continue. <laughs> <laughs> do your best, man. Do your best. Come on. You can do it. But I don't know, but yes, uh, you know. with my friends, we talk uh, a lot. Okay. Do you like a person who likes to talk a lot? What they else? visit me and uh -huh. I visit them. Oh, like uh, Alex. Mm -hmm. Together, uh, go out to dinner, prayer. Ooh, good. Um, on some place, uh, they are very so 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 sociable. 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 Mm -hmm. uh, that's it. That's it. <laughs> you, you know what? You love that expression. <laughs> See? That's it. <laughs> like <phew. laughs> Very good, excellent. But you know what? Good try, my man. Good try. Very good, excellent. Okay, guys, before we continue, because this is how we have just practiced, guys, the relative pronouns as a subject using who and that. Remember that today we're going to continue with that topic, but I'm going to show you how you can use them as an object. But before we continue with that, let's go ahead and practice again the pronunciation of some adjectives, okay? which is really important because I have noted that there are some difficulties on the pronunciation. It is not bad just to make a really fresh reminder. Okay. So let All me right, just mm -hmm. a couple of minutes. I got a Let question. me share right now. Yes. Who has a question? Who's our director? Wait, John. Oh, Mr. Hernandez. Yes. Yes, it's sir. It's not about the, the subject, but I got a question. I got a problem because I'm already... So forget. The, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm already the toy. Uh huh. Well, it was when I was eighteen last year. <laughs> so, <laughs> no, no, no. But I, but I got a problem because I can understand, but I can talk. Uh huh. And I, I don't know how can I improve that. You don't understand, but you can talk. I, I understand. Uh huh. In English. Uh huh. But I I can talk. I can talk because when I talk, I forgot some words and the pronunciation also. The only you do is, is practice, my man. Really? Right? Yeah, practice makes perfection. Right, Marito? <laughs> we make mistakes all the time. Yes, math, that's, mm -hmm, that's part of math, the process. In mathematics, that's what I teach. If we don't make mistakes, we don't learn anything. You listen, Mr. Hernandez? That's true. Yeah. That's true. So practice. Don't, don't worry if you, uh, the, at, the, at the first time, you forgot how to say a word, or maybe you made a mistake in the, um, the way that you um, use the verbs. Doesn't matter. If you make a mistake, oops, they will correct you. And next time, you will make the same mistake because you already know how the same, how the correct way it is. Mm -hmm. Try to watch. TV, try to listen to music. My best recommendation, guys, try to watch cartoons. Cartoons, mm -hmm. you're like, but I'm not a baby boy, I'm not a baby girl. But you know what? Cartoons are really, really interesting because that will help you not only to give you like uh, colloquial words and idioms, but also at the same time, they will help you with the speedness of the talking and also with the listening part. So my, I, I really recommend you to uh, to watch cartoons, you know, but in English. And Which also, uh, yeah, and that will help you also to improve your vocabulary, Mr. Hernandez. Because if you read and if you listen, you will increase your vocabulary. And when you increase your vocabulary, you will be stopping afraid to express yourself because you will have a different ways to actually say the same thing. But if you do not increase your vocabulary, you will never you will never pass with the same thing you see mm -hmm. so, okay. so, so, yeah, so please try to read and try to increase your vocabulary and when you face a, a for example a word that you didn't know write it down look for it because it will be easy for me if i can let you know all the meanings of the words but you will never understand 
But if you face one word that you don't know and you make the effort to look for it, let me let you know that you will never forget what is the meaning of that word. Okay. Yep. So I'm going to, yeah, I'm going to send you things, something. I will also, I will send you some practices, right? And I will, I will also will send all of you any extra vocabulary that I consider that will help you a lot. Okay, and don't, and don't worry, Mr. Hernandez. Try to express yourself, no, with a like rebuscated or high um, vocabulary. Just use the vocabulary that you know so far. Okay. Yes, and, and don't hesitate like to look for something else. Like, no, uh, in part of your process, part of your growing in English, you will increase your vocabulary. And maybe by the end of this model, you will be able to say the same thing, but in a different way. Why? Because you're going to increase your vocabulary. So that's why we're going to do not only listening exercises, but also, guys, we're going to do reading exercises. Um, we'll can I say you... something? No. <laughs> yes, Marita, of course, is really welcome for a teacher experience. Go ahead, sir. No, I, I remember when I was working with someone who studied in a bilingual school, mm -hmm. and she, her English was very, very high, really good. And, but she was a Salvadorian person. And mm -hmm. I remember that I always was afraid that she corrects me all the time, you know? And, and that happened. And that's why I didn't speak too much with her. But uh, I had some friends who are from the United States and they don't have any problem talking to you. They don't never uh, correct anything that you say. They try to understand what you said. So if you, the, if you practice more in these classes, I believe you will learn a lot. That's okay. right. That's right. Very good. Excellent. Thank you so much for your advice. That's what I said. The practice makes perfection. Mm -hmm. Yeah, definitely. So don't worry, Mr. Hernandez. You will be able to do it. Don't worry. We are all learning. Yeah, we're learning. Of course, I'm, you're learning English from me. I'm learning Spanish from you. So you see. <laughs> yeah, we're good. We're good. Excellent. Now, do you feel much better, my friend? Yeah. Yeah, let's move on. All righty. Very good. Okay, so let's continue with that. And we're going to practice, right? The pronunciation, because for me, it's really important. Just to make a little refresh. Okay, guys? Bear with me for a moment. There you go. Let me share right now my screen. And then we're going to continue with our uh, second part of this. Okay, you can you see my screen, guys? Yep. Yes. 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 Okay, cool. So let's repeat after me. Easy going. Easy, Easy going. going. Egotistical. Egotistical. Unflexible. Unflexible. No inflexible. Unflexible. Unflexible. All right, very good. Modest. Modest. Something that is really hard, right? Sociable. Sociable. Stingy. 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 Very good. Supportive. Stingy. Supportive. Very good. Temperamental. Temperamental. Unreliable. 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 Mm -hmm. Very good. Okay, now <laughs> so only you guys. So only you. I will let I will let you know. Okay, one, two, three. Go ahead. The first one. Not dingy. Stingy. 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 Yeah, very good. I know that is stingy is the one that gives you like a heartache, right? Like a headache. Stingy. Yeah. Remember that most of the time the people said stingy, right? But it's not correct because we don't have an E before the S. So, yeah. yes. so just remember, guys, like uh, the way that you pronounce the S words, for example, uh, remember when there is a flat, a flat, you know, that is tired, like, right? Yeah. 
So it's like mm -hmm. stingy, mm -hmm. like that, stingy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So it's exactly mm -hmm. like that, stingy. And you will be able to pronounce it. I know it's hard, and sometimes we'll be like exaggerating, right? We'll, we'll feel like goofy, like, <laughs> but don't worry about it. Yeah. Maybe you are exaggerating at the beginning, but after that, your facial muscles will get used to it, that the pronunciation will come up easily. First, maybe you are stingy, like you look like, like the Joker, right? Yeah. Stingy, right? <laughs> yeah, maybe. Yeah, but now you see, can say stingy, you see? Stingy. And I do not exaggerate it. It's because I already get used to it. Okay, one more time. Stingy, everybody. Stingy. 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 I want to hear the S. Stingy. 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 All right. Very good. Very good. I have nine years of experience in a call center, so my ears, guys, are really developed <laughs> that you cannot imagine. Yes. Very good. Okay. Excellent, guys. Very good. Now, you feel much better? <laughs> hey, Ernestina, sociable. Say it one more time for me. Sociable. Yeah. <laughs> That's my girl. Excellent. Very good. Oh, All right. Mario. Mar no, thank you. Marito, stingy. No, I do not say that you're stingy, right? I just tell you to just pronounce it, okay? <laughs> like, no. What? Stingy. No, stingy. dingy, no. Stingy. Stingy. Very good. That's my boy. Excellent. And now, Paquito, stingy, please. Stingy. 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 Very good. That's my boy. And last but not least, Kalena. <laughs> yeah, I said it correctly. Ooh. One point for me. Yeah. Sociable. Sociable. Yeah, excellent, my girl. All Stingy. right. Yeah, very good. Excellent. <laughs> you see, you could do it. That's amazing. Okay, guys. So now let me share right now with you. Uh, it will be this is easy peasy queasy for you, no right? Just a piece of cake, right? Okay, so hey, that's an idiom easy peasy queasy and piece of cake. Okay, you already know that for sure, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I will teach yeah. you something else. Okay, don't worry, every easy like a Sunday morning, like a Sunday morning. <laughs> if you like Sunday morning, no uh -huh. morning. Uh -huh. hey, that's a song. Everybody, like, Ooh. okay. <laughs> <laughs> all righty guys let me yeah i'm crazy you know ernestine i'm really oh, crazy no, 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 no. yeah no yes i, I am like i like it i like it <laughs> you like it like that right okay i'm just crazy girl yes all righty can you see my screen guys yes yep okay okay so this is i have chosen guys uh, some um, sentences that will help you in clarify how we can use the relative pronouns as an object uh, but first of all i just want you guys to take a look at this part this part this is the one that i'm doing right now um we're going to use different um different words this time but as you can see the first sentence always is in two parts okay so I have, I like the type of friends, and that's one idea. And then I have, I can trust them. Okay, I'm going to put something here. Guys, let me ask you, what is exactly the word then here? Is it true that it's, it's, it's referring to friends? Is that right? Yes. 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 Okay, yes. so we're good on that. However, let me, let, I want you guys to focus on the second word, on the second phrase, why? Because that is the phrase that we need to touch and also to like, um, to work on it and try to make it into one. So we're, we need to double check and we're learning relative pronouns as an object, okay? So take a look at these ones because between the two words, the two uh, sentences, where is the pronoun? In the first sentence or in the second sentence? Where is it? In the second, second, second one. one. How we know second. it? Be second. Of course, because we, them, this is a pronoun, right? Mm -hmm. Them. Okay, cool. However, guys, in this, so that means that we're going to work in the second sentence. So in this sentence, if you can see, we have a subject and an object. Because the word them, it is, is, it the, is it the subject of the sentence? Yes or no? No. 
No. What is the subject of the sentence? I. 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 Exactly. I. Exactly. So that means that we're going to work with this one, with the outdated, and we are going to substitute that word for who and that. So take a look at this one. Take a look at this one that I have here. We're going to go, go the first place. We're not going to change the first part. I like that type of friends, but then we're going to, to scratch them and we're going to substitute by who or can. In this case, it's going to be who. So you said, I like type of friends who, who what? Who I can trust. Who I can trust. Mm -hmm. So you see that? Hey, let me give you the second example. It's exactly the same. I want friends, I can depend on them. So let's move on and put it who and that as a subject, as an object, sorry. I want friends that I, I can depend on, okay? I can depend on. So if you see guys, we scratch them because that will be the object of the sentence and we substitute that for who and that. Are we clear right now? Yes. Yes? Uh, How? Yeah. Uh, who yeah. said, aha? Uh -huh? No. Somebody's mm. like, aha. Uh -huh. Who is not clear? I uh, have a problem. Who has a problem? Me. I don't, I cannot see you. So let me go back to you. Uh, it's Mario. Mario. Mario, what happened, Mario? Uh, well, I have a problem with one exercise that is in the website. Ah, so, uh-huh. Yeah. Do you remember I told you the other day that I didn't get one answer correct? And uh -huh. I, I, I was trying to use everything I learned mm -hmm. and what, what you're explaining, but I don't get the mistake. Ah, okay. Do you uh, identify, you too also, Kalina? Okay. For example, do you try to identify if you put a lot of spaces between the sentences or mm -hmm. if you forgot a, a capital letter or if you forgot a comma or if you got a a period at the end of the sentence, or maybe the, um, the apostrophe, you're using something that is different? Yes, yeah. I, I, I try many, many, many times, ways. but I, di I didn't get the mistake. Okay, I'm going to double check about that and I will help you, okay? Uh, yes, Alex. Uh, yes, uh, I tried to, you know, I did uh, the part mm -hmm. and, and you, you, can, you can do like, like this, like this, uh, that you are explaining. You mm -hmm. substitute the last part and you just leave the trust. I think this, this is the last one. Trust is the last word. And you, you have to put the, the, the period. Mm -hmm. And that's it. You substitute the last, the last part and put the who. Uh, you, use the, use the, you use the who. Uh, like. uh -huh. You got it? Okay. You can share yeah. with us, right? You can share with example of you. And if not, also, you guys, if you would like to, uh, Try to send me that exactly the part that you are having difficult with, okay? And I will try to double check it and also we can discuss it tomorrow if you would like to, right? So we can help you with that. That's not a problem. And, and also, but try to also, Alex, try to share your it's information. Same. Yeah. Yeah. And it's uh, the same, okay. You just took the, the last part. Oh, okay. You, you are the... The ah, mm -hmm. Yes, guys, I, I, this is something that I wanted to let you know, because um, remember, guys, this is a uh, relative pronouns as subject. We could we have it the who and that and you can use either or, but it was optional. You can just switch it. You can just put it, use it. And it's not like um, you, you don't have to use it. Right. It just show you how you can transform a pronoun as a subject. But in this case, when you're using a relative pronoun as an object, the word who or the word that is not optional. You gotta use it. Yes, Paquito, go ahead. Yes, could you please send uh, the, uh, the example to the chat because I wasn't able to see it due to my internet connection i guess oh but hey paquito but you already you already uh, on the whatsapp right yes okay cool WhatsApp okay i'm gonna share it right now with you you mean the one that we're talking right now thank you very much you're more than welcome yes, yes madam okay thank you. merci monsieur 
<laughs> Thank you, sir. Let me Thank check. You. Let me check it out. I'm going to send it right now, guys. Let me know once you receive it, okay? Okay, did you receive it already, guys? Yep. Got it. Got it? Cool. All right. So take a look at this because uh, basically, guys, this is exactly what we're doing. Uh, you, you have to substitute the object of the sentence for who or that. But mm -hmm. it is not optional. You, as a, if you substitute it as an object, you have to use it. For example, do me a favor. Uh, Marito, could you please be so kind to read for me the sentence that you have there, that one that already has the who? The what? Uh, in, the, in, in the WhatsApp. In the, in the WhatsApp, OK. Uh -huh. let, let, let me open the WhatsApp. OK. okay. Cool. The one that has the who. The who, yes. OK. Uh, I like the type of friends who I can trust. OK, very good. OK, thank you. Now do me a favor. Read exactly the same sentence, but do not mention the who. I like the type of friends I can trust. Mm -hmm. Is it understandable? Yes, yes. it is. Yes, okay, it is. very good. Now do me a favor, read it a second one. I want friends that I can depend on. Okay, now read it without that. I want friends I can depend on. Okay, very good. So you see? Very good, excellent guys. And I just put something on the bottom that says, don't do this. And I said, please, right? So you cannot say, I like friends who they are sincere. No, if you use who, you gotta scratch the day. So you said, I, I like friends who are sincere, okay? And then I also give you another information but as an object. No, I like friends that, that I can go out with them. No, I like friends that I can go out with. All right? So you do not, you don't, what you have to do or you have to avoid, don't duplicate the pronoun. If you substitute it, substitute it, but never duplicate it at the end of the sentence because that will be wrong. Mm. Marito, what happened? Well, you have a big question mark here in your face, in your forehead. <laughs> no, no, I don't, I don't get what's wrong with my answer. <laughs> don't worry. I'm okay. trying to figure it out. You're, you're trying to figure it out? Okay, Alex will share something with us. And then, but also Marito, feel free to send the part that you have trouble with. Also Kalina. And if everybody else has the same problem or something else, we you, you can send it to the to the WhatsApp, and what, that will be one of the first things that we're gonna do tomorrow. Okay, we're gonna discuss that, and we're 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 all trying to do it like it's a family, it's a friend. We're going to help each other. Okay. Okay. Because because what I need is not only that you like pass and pass. No. I want that every time that you like do an exercise of the platform, understand it why you are doing it okay i want you to understand what you are doing exactly and so that's why it's, i'm really happy that you mentioned those things because that will help us as a team right not not only to um, to get to know a little bit the platform but also to do the things right because it's different when you speak than when you write it's totally different yeah so that's that's why the platform it is to practice the writing skill Okay, so that's good. I'm so happy that you have mentioned that. And I just, I'm just going to wait just for you to send me the information that is really difficult right now for you or the exercise that you're stuck in. And then we're going to do it or to double check it tomorrow. Okay. Okay. Okay, guys. Okay, oh, you know what? It's time to say bye bye. May I apologize for that inconvenience. Bye. <laughs> Thank you, Marito. <laughs> okay, guys. Hugs and kisses. Good night, everybody. Good night. Good night, everybody. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. <laughs>